Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. I'm here with Mr. David Lee. Hi. It's an absolute pleasure <laughs> to be here in your beautiful garage. Welcome. We're gonna check out your incredible collection, which oh. I'm sure many people watching this have maybe already seen or know <laughs> of, but it's constantly changing and evolving. And sure, uh, sure. there's stories behind all of the cars. And yes. I just thought we would do a quick video where we literally just walk around one by one and you, you tell us about your cars, your collection, okay. you know, kind of get to know this incredible collection that you've built. Because I've seen it on Instagram before, as oh. I'm sure a lot of people have, <laughs> and it's, it, it's surreal to kind of, uh, kind of be here. Well, we're glad to have you here, and I'm happy to show this. And I know your audience is a lot in France, yeah. and so I would love to uh, show all my French uh, fans about my garage. Awesome. Well, we stood in front of a pretty mm. legendary car to, to yes, start off yes, with. Yes, I would have to say we're... we're, we're this is the 1985 288 GTO, the first of the supercars that uh, Ferrari had put out. It so happened to also be my favorite car. Okay. Because uh, this car during the, when I was in high school, uh, was premier. And I remember the Road and Track magazine that I, when I opened it, to see this, the, uh, the premiere of this car. Uh -huh. And I just loved it. It just loved the lines. I loved everything about it. And it was my dream car. And, and, uh, but I never thought I could afford it or, or possess it. Yeah. And for the fact that now that I own it, it I, I feel like, it, it, you know, I achieved the dream that Definitely. I had. And that's why it's a little bit more special. Although all my cars is my favorite, but this is a little bit more. And, I, and actually, I'm looking for one in yellow because I'm going to, yeah. you'll see later on, I'm doing a yellow collection of the uh -huh. big five. Uh, and so I'm trying to get this in yellow, which has been, been pretty tough to find. But anyways, we'll, we're still going to uncover it. But uh, the, you know, this one, it's interesting because people that don't know, they think it's a 308, it's a 328, you know, the Magnum PI made it famous, kind of the, the, the 328. Yeah. But, but if those that know that, they know the different character, this is m so much more faster and special than yeah. the, you know, the regular uh, 308 or yeah, 328. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And were, they, were there many made originally in, in no, yellow? Like or? Uh, well, orig originally, none, none was made in yellow. Okay, so they were all uh, red. They were all red. Okay. But some people brought it back and, and repainted it by um. Ferrari. So there are some out there. I know of two already. But uh, there could be more. So, okay. so if you know of one out there, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Send um, us a message, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, awesome. And then we kind of continue on. So sure. we have the whole supercar yes, uh, yes, collection, yes, the, the, yes, the yes. big five yes, in red. Yes. So um, this one is a, a, a 1990 uh, F40. Um, and we, we know they've gone up a lot in price. You know, the F40 was uh, last of the Enzo Ferrari's um, uh, uh, masterpiece that you wanted to build a race car on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a uh, first car to go, a uh, production car to go 200 miles per hour mm -hmm. uh, on the road. And uh, obviously a lot of fans on this one, right? A lot of people revere, revere that the F40 was the best uh, Ferrari supercar that was made. It's a popular um, one. Yeah. Very popular one. So here I have, I have one in red, I have one in yellow, yeah. uh, and uh, it is an amazing car. It is beautiful. And there's a big discussion also between these two, F40 or F50s, you know, right, which right. to drive is the kind of most, they're both sure, obviously visceral sure. experiences yes, and, yes, and yes. unbelievable cars, but yes. F50s have been kind of really becoming They've always been popular, mm -hmm. but even more so in the last few years, I sure, feel. I mean, sure, sure, naturally sure. aspirated V12, race car engine, mm -hmm. manual gearbox. Yes. Um, if, if, if I was to say, you know, um, a lot of people, you know, F50 didn't get the credit it deserved in the past, but I, I'm glad to see in recent years that, that, that people have more exposure and, and they uh, appreciate a lot more. Obviously, the price is really good. I mm -hmm. have one in red and yellow, too, as far well as on the F50. Awesome. But, the, but the thing is, as an owner, the driving experience, I find that this is really a fun car to drive. Uh, you know, the gated shifter yeah. uh, is, is great. Uh, you know, in this version, the, because the, the, the V12, uh, F1 mounted V12 in the back, you can mm -hmm. really hear it, um, yeah. you know, because it's a roadster. And uh, that's so cool. It, it, it's really a great driving experience, you know. I'm sure this, this the F40, which is the 40 year anniversary, F50, mm -hmm. 50 year anniversary, they it did all kinds of um, records on the on the track. As an owner, mm -hmm. uh, this drives so well, yeah. so fun. You can kind of get, get the hang of it. And it, what's so cool is with all three of these that we've seen so far, you can see the carbon weave yes, through the paint yes, as yes, well. Yeah. This is when they first started use carbon fiber to the whole car. Yeah. Right? yeah Before yeah. it was Kevlar and, and, and others material, mm -hmm. but this is starting to be carbon fiber through the whole car. So that's also a very special. 
Absolute beauty. Deal. And then we move on to yes, yes, the Enzo. The, Enzo. Yeah. the six year anniversary, uh, Enzo. Um, and, and I think a lot of people also love this car and is, as an is iconic car. They, they've dated, they've kind of aged so well, I feel. Mm, mm, mm. Um, they, this looks like it could have come out two right. years ago. You, you know, know what so. I've noticed on the uh, Ferrari supercar lineup? that the way they designed, when it first came out, I, I, you know, it, it's interesting, because when it first came out, I didn't really like it. I thought, wow, it's so different, yeah. because, you know, it's so different, and, and, but, it's, but what it is really is, is Pina Farina uh, and all the design house, now the in-house in de design house of Ferrari, mm -hmm. they make it so futuristic at the time that it came out, so that it can stand the, uh, uh, the design of time. Like right yeah. now, you're talking about, this is a 2003. Matter of fact, this was my first wow. supercar, uh, in the, my collection car, this is my first one that I, that oh, I really? bought. Yeah, it's okay. my first one. Um, but it's 2003, so you're talking about that's 20 years old. And, and you're saying that this could be something that is right now come out and it would look like, yeah. um, like modern. But at that time, you can imagine how futuristic. Shocking! Yeah, it takes mm -hmm. some time to get used to, and yeah, then once yeah, you're yeah, used yeah, to, yeah, it's yeah, the case yeah. with a, a lot of the. Because yeah. guys, this video might be quite long. There's a lot of cars we're going to look at, but it's the case with a few of them. You might have to make part one, part two, yeah, like exactly. the movies right now. Yeah, right? Maybe, yeah. yeah. There's going to be a one, part TV series, yeah, yeah with different episodes. Yes. What um, a beauty! Yeah. So this is the the 70 year uh, anniversary, the LaFerrari Aperta, right? The Aperta being the con uh, convertible, uh, only about 210. Uh, oh, so it's you know, this one yeah. ten, so uh, less than the coupe, which is four ninety nine. Yeah, and and hybrid, you know. So they went from then again V twelve to now hybrid, and uh, would you know all, all combined, it's 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 a thousand horsepower. So yeah, it's it's, it's crazy. Uh, it's quite a car. It's quite yeah, amazing. Definitely. Yeah. And so the this stripe, the mm -hmm. silver stripe, is what kind of is the easiest way to spot off. that it's an Aperta, yeah, right? Yeah, it off. Yeah, some they don't all have to have it, but a lot of them do. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah Got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so cool to have them all in the matching red. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, we could we could make a whole video about each one of these cars individually. But yes, then, yes. Um, I mean, let's then, let's go straight onto sure, the pizza sure. right here because yes. Paul, who's holding the camera behind, <laughs> I know this is his. Yeah, this is basically yeah, the dream yeah. spec. This is beautiful. <laughs> Thank the, you. The 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 way you spec this. So yes, I, I mean, this is like a one-off spec. Um, you know, it's a 488 pizza spider, and in the uh, you know, a burgundy, historic burgundy color, yeah. historic ivory color, and with, with a lot of use of burgundy carbon fiber. Yeah, so uh, the all, of, all around it, yeah, you know, it's not the black, it's a burgundy, and yeah. just the use of the uh, red uh, Alcantara and, and, and throughout the car. So I have not seen a spec like this out there. Uh, oh, definitely it's, it's not. Really, no. It's really special and I really love it. How does it work then? So you get, you know, the allocation to, to yes, get a, a piece yes. of the spider and then do you do this? Do you have to go to Italy? Do you do this at the dealership? Uh, um, how long did it take you mm -hmm. to I did, come I up did with this a... with the, at the dealership. Okay. You know, I, I brainstormed with the uh, general manager of, uh, for our Westlake, that's where I buy my cars okay. from. And we just tried and we, and we contact with Italy and to figure out what are the cool specs so it's unusual so that when we make a car it's not like like everybody else's yeah and and we try to think in that way so it's special because once you, you know a lot of times we go on uh, rallies or events you know people that have these cars they all bring it out and, yeah. and you don't want to be the same like everybody else yeah. yeah which is why i know this is not the same as everybody else well so this it, definitely like, yeah, isn't yeah, 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 yeah this is a bold statement but it's worked very yes, very nicely yes. Yes. Then we move on to something okay. a little bit different down yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this so here, is yeah. nuts. This is a 2002, uh, F2002 uh, uh, Ferrari uh, F1 car uh, that Michael Schumacher uh, drove that was a championship winning car. Wow. And uh, so the so factory, Marinello, offered this to me directly okay. uh, a number of years ago and said, asked me if I wanted to have this in the F1 program or just be having my garage as a steward, a steward of yeah. one of their, you know, the highest possession, which is, in, you know, to them, performance and F1 is the highest, yeah, yeah. highest level of performance. So this is really the most uh, rare allocation, most rare uh, uh, kind of offering that they can yeah. give to you wow. is an F1 car. So they and contact you they kind of and me, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. would you would you like to have yeah, this? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, so, I mean, what a, what a piece to have yeah. kind of sat on the top and, of the collection. And you know, uh, last year, uh, John Todd was here, you know, oh, visiting wow. and, and, and he came and he was visiting. I asked him what his memory of this car is because of course he brought Michael Schumacher to Ferrari. Yeah. And, and this was the year when they both were involved. And, and it was just, just seeing him looking at it and, and, and Special memories. Special yeah. memories and talking about those days was really great.
Oh, incredible. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, it's so cool to have this out when you, when you get in here. It, it yeah, looks yeah, awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it's, maybe, it's amazing. Maybe, maybe tell the audience which car you said no to before this. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, Ferrari had offered me a, 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 Ferrari, a Fernando Alonso's car. Okay. Um, it wasn't a championship winner. Uh, it was still, uh, you know, of course, for our F1 car. And that one, like, I, I, I had uh, politely uh, uh, declined that. Mm -hmm. And then thereafter, a few months later, then they had offered me this okay. car. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, yeah, so yeah they, they were like, okay, we, <laughs> if the last one didn't work, I think we can yeah, one-up we'll it and we'll find you something well, that's going to work. This I time. think they really wanted me to, to, yeah. to be a steward of one. You yeah, know? So definitely. They, they, gave, they offered me that, and, and, and then they tried again with this one. So. Yeah. So now we start the, the yellow. Yes. Lineup that yes, we're going to yes, see yes, here. Yes. But this must be one of the latest this kind of editions. This is one of the latest. This is this yeah. year's uh, 296 GTB. And uh, it's amazing. You know, you're talking about uh, a V6 twin turbo hybrid electric engine, mm -hmm. totaling of uh, 800 horsepower. And uh, I just had this on the, on the track the uh, last Monday. It okay. was quick. It yeah. was so quick. And they're saying that, I mean, at this, you can imagine the technology now uh, of this. Um, is as fast as a La Ferrari. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So and there's quite a bit of character. I was lucky enough to, to, to try one out not too long ago, mm. and the, the six cylinder engine actually has a really nice noise yes. and yes. brings yes. out actually more character yeah. than yes. I was initially no, kind of expecting. And you know what they're saying is that because the, the SF90, for example, they, they, you know, they compare this as the baby SF90. But what the cool thing about this, because being it's smaller, there's more road that you could, you yeah. could drive. So on the track, you can, you can take the apex, you have a little more room to, to maneuver, mm -hmm. whereas some of the cars are wider, they're taking up the whole road, it's tough. Yep. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And so this spec, you've, got, you've also got, I can see, Yeah, so this is Carmen. the uh, Assetto Ferrano stra uh, 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 spec, which is the racing spec. Okay. Um, so this, this, this livery is only if you have that. Oh, it's uh, only, okay. Yeah, for that. And uh, yeah, so. Doesn't that also mean you don't have the front lift yes, as right. well? That's yeah, right. But okay. it also means that there's a lighter uh, situation so that, you know, yeah. for racing, yeah. Got you, got you. Awesome. And then, so we come on to, yeah. it's pretty so, ludicrous that we can say this, the second <laughs> Enzo of this <laughs> video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So of course the yellow, um, yellow Enzo, you know, the, the, the thing about it, of course they made the most red and then, the, and then, and then yellow and, and then uh, silver and black and titanium or less, but the, but the yellow, uh, yeah, it's really, it really pops, you know, it's really amazing how, how, how great this um, It this looks is. Yeah. amazing. I don't think I've seen one in yellow before. There must Very not rare. be a That's lot of them at all. It's really rare. It's yeah. really rare. There's only, there's I think 10, 10 oh, in wow. yellow, 10 in yellow. Yeah, okay. compared to the, the 399, there's like 10 in yellow. So, so did, you, did you have to, did you get this when it came out or did you have to oh, look no, no, for no. it for a while? Yeah, yeah. All these I bought at, 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 at market. Okay. It was, it was uh, pre-owned. But uh, I was able to buy it, and uh, I was, you know, yeah. I was lucky to do that. I, I'm still looking for the uh, a yellow La Ferrari, which it should be a little easier. Okay. But but this uh, is um, I was I'm so glad to have. It's kind it. of part of the fun, though, isn't it? Like hunting down, hunting finding down. Yeah, the yeah, story, yeah, 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 going yeah. to see yes, one, and everything. Yes, but yes, hundred yeah. percent. And this is beautiful. Yeah, it's got yeah. the nice black interior with the with the diamond stitching. I can yeah, see there yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, and this is a European version. You can see the seat belts is a European version. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm glad to be able to have some American version and some European version. So yeah. it's, there's a little difference in, uh, in, in, in that. So. But you can still drive the European versions, no problem, register it, on the road. It uh, depends on your proper registration, which everything okay. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. And then, so, yeah. <laughs> yellow F50 yeah, yellow again. F50 again you there know, can't be many of these. Super rare, super rare. Yeah. Uh, yellow F F50s. Again, I love, I love this car. It's, so I've got that. I got the, the yellow 40. Unfortunately, it's out. Um, almost, it's yeah. almost back. If you were here a few days later, it would be back. Okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, so the yellow F40. So, so far, I have three of the big fives. Again, okay, incredible. Yeah. This, it's, it's nuts. Maybe we'll be able to get an angle where you can see it afterwards. But just how much you see the carbon weave through the paint, mm. more than on, on any yeah, of the others, yeah, it's, yeah. it's stunning. And, and you know, all my cars, are. I drive them all the time. So they're not okay, uh, good. Uh, yeah. garage queens. I, I drive them all the time but I also keep them in really good condition. Yeah, really good pristine. Ex, uh, you know, exterior condition and working condition. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. And th this must have been a tricky one to track down it as well. Was all these, the yellow ones of these are even more trickier than the red. Yeah, so, I can um, imagine. I, I think I was the first to, to, one of the first to get all five in red, but now that as I'm trying to get the yellow, it's tricky, but 
it, when I get done, I might be probably own one of the, the only to one have, to have two sets. You know? yeah, yeah, well, to have yeah, yeah, both yeah. sets. Yeah, I'd say <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, even just you yeah, know to have the yeah. yellow set. Yeah, yeah, be, yeah. But it doesn't end <laughs> with just the set because no, then no, it no. continues. Yes. This so, spec is unbelievable. Yeah. So this is uh, the F12 TDF uh, DSKL. So this one is a one-off spec that Ferrari did for me. Yeah. And, and what that spec is, so next to you see that a 1964 250 Lusso competition only yeah. that, that uh, was a race car uh, back then and a lot of, lot of race history and so forth. And, I'm, and I do race it. Matter of fact, I was racing this, practicing the race on Monday because I will be taking this to the uh, Laguna Seca vintage uh, historic okay. race and, and racing on that. But anyways, this, this car was a, a very legendary car. I think there's might be a four that's remaining. Uh, I'm the only one in yellow. And so when I wanted to, when they said, they, Ferrari said, hey, David, what did you want to spec? How do you want to spec this? I said, also, I wanted to do it different uh, than everybody else. And I gave him this idea. What if I did a tribute to my, um, you know, 1960 for 250 mm. Lusso competition? They were very excited because um, I remember this was for this around the 70 year anniversary of Ferrari. Yeah. And they wanted to do a uh, uh, play homage to those uh, old cars. And, and so basically we, we, we sent like maybe a hundred pictures of this from far and they, they used that to, to really make a modern interpretation of this car for that. So of course they were so happy they named the car after me or you'll see my initials on the, in the car and a, and a center plate that says this is a tribute to David Lee's 250 Lusso competition. Wow, movie. that very Which special. they normally don't like to do, yeah, uh, but, but they did it for They for did me. it so, for you. So this is the car kind of goes together in, in, in the, a lot of uh, showing and-, and A so lot forth. of combos that you, like, that yeah, you could yeah, take out yeah. together. Is it possible to just check out the inside? Yeah, sure, uh, sure Because sure, sure, it sure. looks like, one thing that I absolutely adore are different colored oh. seats. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So here- These are very special seats with the blue Alcantara to match the oh, racing, yes. you know, and the, and the reason for the classic uh, racing cars, those were the seats you buy, they were lightweight, they were for racing, and they happened to be blue. They just were blue for it. So it didn't matter what colors. Are. So, so, so for them to, again, to do a matching, yeah. would be the, uh, the blue Alcantara. And the TDF is just such an epic car and, and uh, it, quite a visceral driving experience, right? Oh, no, right? for sure. Yeah. Now, you saw the kick seal here. Oh, yes. It usually says Ferrari. So here it says F12 TDF DSKL, which is my initial. Wow. Um, and they, they did. And then the center, um, you'll see a plaque that says um, that. That must is, be a pretty surreal feeling as a Ferrari fan to yeah, have you know, for, you know, for, a project kind of. You know, for Ferrari to do special projects, you know, besides the one off. Yeah. Uh, project is is really uh, something that that yeah I mean it feels great because they they recognize who you are in yeah. the, in the in the you know with all the collectors wow congrats yeah, <laughs> it's very cool you, this you. is like childhood dream stuff <laughs> yeah no we come a far way we come a long way from and it keeps on going <laughs> yeah <laughs> the blue seats also we can see on the inside yeah, here yeah yeah. And these I've always absolutely so, adored. So we start to move into the classics. Like mm -hmm. I said, I'm, 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 I'm much, I'm, I have a lot of love for the classic Ferraris because I think that's where, and, and you know, in the 60s is, is really a, a Ferrari's golden era of the V12 and mm -hmm. everything like that. And this kind of coming, uh, the beginning of the, um, of the, uh, uh, of the 70s, uh, 71, this is a, a very famous one also, uh, uh, you know, uh, the 365 uh, Daytona Spider, original yeah. Daytona Spider. And wow. so, what, which, you know, the Daytona Spider that was made famous from Miami Vice, but that yeah. was a replica, this is a real one. And it's just, again, a powerful front engine V12. This to cruise, especially around here in California, yeah, 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 to cruise yeah. around in must just be and in so that, special. And this style, you know, you can see the kind of the um, aerodynamic is so new at that time compared yeah. to, um, you know, the, the regular uh, head, uh, headlights and so mm -hmm. forth. This is so, it seems like so fast, so aerodynamic. Yeah. And uh, so this, I was able to get. Um, Absolutely also, gorgeous, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So have you had this for for a while? Has it I been had a... this bike during. I was able to buy this during the pandemic. I actually okay. had a long time ago. I had a silver one, uh, and then I sold it, uh, and then I, I regretted it, and I was able to come back and get this, bring yeah. this back in. You know? And it fits well with the collect with this side of the garage well, as well. Happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, my whole thing is I want to have uh, a two fifty, uh, two seventy five, a three thirty, three sixty five. Uh, and then uh, uh, the no, so so okay. every every important engine, you know, I have a iconic model of that. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And then so we continue. So should we, should we go, go yeah. stick on the classics for yeah, now? Yeah, let's yeah. stick with the classics. Stick with the wow. Ferraris for now. Look at these um, two. Yeah, so 1960, they're both 1967. This is a 330 GTS, uh, and this is a 275 GTB 4 cam. And uh, again, very, you know, just, just uh, classic desirable Beautiful. Ferraris that, that are most recognized. Um, you know, a lot of my car, cars are 100% platinum. Uh, best of show winners. Uh, I mean, this looks. Like, yeah, this looks like yeah, it's brand yeah. new. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Best of show. Wow. Hundred percent plat uh, platinum both of these. And this, the line of these, the design is just so iconic. It really is. Yeah. It's this just is the most revered classic mm -hmm. Ferrari car, two seventy five GTB four cam. It's funny to see how much small. I mean, it's very long, but yeah. it's not very wide, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But when you days, see the modern stuff, the Enzos right, and everything. Right, 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 yeah. right. Well, you know, these were made in Europe, you know, and you know, it being in Monaco, how, yeah. how, how, how narrow the roads are, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. can't have a big car. This is already probably a big car back then. Yeah. And then uh, this I've seen on your Instagram, I believe. Yeah. This is quite a special yeah, yeah, project. Yeah, very, very special project. So, you know, the, 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 the Dino uh, 246, was a car that Ferrari wanted to make to kind of go uh, rival maybe Porsche at the time. They, they made more production, but they also made a V6. And, uh, but everything was made by Ferrari and designed by Pino Farina. So uh, since then, there was a big cult following for this car because it is a beautiful car. Mm -hmm. And it was, there was just a complaint by many that why well, couldn't have made it faster? What could a Ferrari have done? And I guess I took on a, at, back then I took on an approach that what Ferrari could have made, you know, ah, using all Ferrari parts, using all uh, their OEM uh, suppliers to make a car within the next, within the decade, you know, the next, let's say the Dino 2, the next model. Yeah, right. And so then I, I went on this 18 month journey to commission uh, these uh, engineers in uh, UK to, to make this car that has not been done before. So now what we have is a Ferrari uh, V8 engine uh, oh, wow, okay. you know, fuel injected, producing 400 horsepower, and uh, and uh, and of course, so a, a big powerhouse. Uh, we have must be very light as well. Yeah, it, it, it you know it's very light because we because matter of fact the new car, new parts are lighter. You know, you're using aluminum yeah. uh, uh, engine blocks and so forth. You got the new material that are lighter actually, but still very strong. Bremo brakes, Coney suspension. It looks like a very yeah. classic car, but a lot of it, there's a lot of engineering. And the underpinnings are, are, are up, modern. and Yeah, upgraded Ferrari parts in there. So I think after all said and done, uh, when it's done uh, here, this is what Ferrari could have made. Yeah. And a lot of people feel that this is what Ferrari should have made. Oh, I see, and okay. It's just, it's just a one-off car. Again, such a cool project for you as a Ferrari fan to be yeah, able to get yeah. into and kind of add right, your own right, personal right. touch, whether it's with a spec or actually now yeah, mechanically, whole, whole mechanically kind of uh, com coming, but the, coming under the this. the integrity is there. It's all Ferrari yeah. parts. Yeah, all definitely. All Ferrari OEM parts. What they and it still use. looks. It still looks super cool. Uh, the cover headlight, of course, they, they never had made, but mm -hmm. I, I had to make special. I, I recasted these, these wheels that are high, low profile, yeah. um, you know, 17 inches wheel but a lot of engineering that, that was still balanced, the car's still very balanced very and, cool. and really powerful, really powerful. Very cool. Do you, really are fun. you able to get it out and drive this oh, one much? Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. I drive this actually quite, because again, it's 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 classic car, which I love classic, but it's the, the engineering is more modern. So yeah. I take it out. I remember one time I was driving from a, a, a meeting place in Pasadena to Peterson Museum with a bunch of new car guys, mm -hmm. and we're going down the, the freeway, and my, uh, Mike, I was pulling the lead, you know, because yeah. this car is so quick so and, fast, so, yeah. and so good and nimble through the, uh, yeah, yeah, the freeways yeah. and stuff. So, okay, yeah. well, awesome. I mean, now now we move on to the. This, oh uh, yeah, there's one yeah. more. For, uh, sorry, yeah, one, one more, more Ferrari. Ferrari first. One more Ferrari. <laughs> well, we start we'll to go to the blue collection. Um, you know, usually my blue collection is reserved for non Ferraris. Yeah. But but uh, I happen to have this off, Ferrari offered me this because I didn't spec it. He, they had pre spec'd it because they have a, a program. Uh, uh, called Inspiration in Italy that, that they had uh, pre, pre done. This is a SF90 Spider, mm -hmm. and, and, and this is a, their own tribute to a 1969 365 2 plus 2. Okay. So you got the historic color, which is a Monte Carlo blue. You have a, a wooden steering wheel, a lot of wooden kick seal, and you have um, the kind of an age uh, uh, leather seats that, that, that you'll see. It looks like age, looks like guess, somebody's yeah. been seeking just hop for around many years. and see. Yeah. And the style too, it was back then, uh, the seat style like that. 
Is this open? Yeah, let's push down yeah. and then we'll open. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. Okay, you can see the leather is, um, yeah. is old, like it's been used for a long time. The design is, is like back then. Beautiful. You know, like back then, yeah. the wooden steering wheel, you just don't see that. Yeah, the wooden uh, steering wheel I've never yeah, seen before. Yeah, 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 That's So this is very special. So um, they'll do some of these pre-set specs, I guess, and then yeah, invite they, you to kind of, yeah, yeah tailor-made. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so they, they, so this is something that I didn't know. They, they had pre-specked it and they said, Hey, David, we want to offer you this. Do you want to have uh, this instead of my, what I normally spec? Yeah. I said, okay, this is cool. Cause it's a one-off spec, you know? So yeah. I said, yeah, you know, let's, let's do it. Definitely. So that's why this is in blue or, or else normally I, my blue cars are other than Ferraris. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So yeah. So now we move on to the rest of the yes. blue crew, yes, you can call yes. them, which which yeah. are the non ferraris This must be fairly new, because they haven't been around. It is new. This is a GT4 RS, which yeah. for the Porsche guys, uh, you know, it's a super, it's a, it's a track assassin. It's really fast on the, on the, on the track. Yeah. Uh, and the mid-engine. Um, so uh, Awesome. Yeah. And the, this, you must have the Weissach pack, yes, right? Yes, I do. I do have the Weissach pack. Okay. Yes, yes. And the, yes. No, the noise of these with the intakes just behind the ears yeah, yeah. It's, it's, is, yeah, is it's incredible. Yeah, it's open too, like you can yeah. just hear it. It's 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 quite a it's quite uh, fun. It's quite yeah. fun, I would have to say. Oh, definitely. And, you know, I, I respect Porsche. Porsche make really great product and, yeah. and very tight. So it's um, you know I'm glad to have it. You yeah, know, and, and I've been a Porsche guy. I've, I've had uh, a number of Carrera GTs, 918s okay. before also, but I just you know I'm more more known. I'm just more in line with Ferrari. So yeah. I had sold those back then. Uh, but they're you know, creeping I, back in. They, yeah, <laughs> you know, I, they always, they're making I can't, their they way. Be, I can't totally get, get yeah. rid of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Um, here we got the GT3, right? Awesome. Uh, in the shark blue, and that's so fun. 911s are yeah. so fun. Yeah. Um, With PDK so, on this one, yeah. Yeah. yeah awesome. So I enjoy it. Nice little details on the rims mm -hmm. as well. The blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so cool. And the carbon roof. This, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't realize yeah. this, that must be an option to have the carbon yeah, roof, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is oh, awesome. quite a fun car as well. And this yeah. is impressive. <laughs> Very yeah. impressive. So, uh, the Ford GT, yeah, in the in the liquid blue with the. This is now this is a carbon package. You know, as you know, the among the whole collection of the thirteen around thirteen hundred of the Ford GT. 100 are the heritage package mm -hmm. and 100 is the uh, carbon package. Yeah. So this is the carbon package. So this is a limited edition within the limited edition. And then you got, and then you got the silver accent. So I really yeah. like this car. I mean, this is really yeah, a special beautiful. car. Um, you got the carbon, uh, carbon rims, rims, which come yeah. as part of the carbon Yes, pack. yes, yes. Yeah. A lot of carbon in this. Um, well, I messed up because actually, funnily enough, I actually had an allocation oh, for a carbon boy. series oh, no. for GT. Oh no! And it just wasn't the right time for me okay, and everything, sure. so I ended up not getting it. But now at seeing all. it, no, 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 yeah. I didn't get it at all. And we saw one in San Francisco, and we see one here now, both right. carbon series. Yeah, and I have yeah, to admit, yeah. it's kind of it's, like it's really I feel nice. like I definitely really messed nice. up. But um. Yeah. I'm going to ask you an impossible question now because we've, uh -huh. we've seen all the cars. Right. Which one do you think is the one that you take out the most often? I'll take out the most often. You know, it, 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 so my, my whole thing is, uh, is uh, and not all the cars are here, uh, I keep about more, an average of 30 cars. That's okay. my thing. I like, I like to keep, I want to combine myself to 30 cars. Mm -hmm. And the reason I do that is because I want to at least drive it once a month. Okay. I want to be able to take it out once a month. The cars need to be driven, and the, the, every, the, the gears and the oils, uh, the, uh, the uh, lubrication needs yeah. to move around the oil. But um, so I do, I do at least drive it once a month. But mm -hmm. the ones that I drive a little bit more, I guess I would have to say, uh, I really like driving the, the my Monza yeah. because I really love the classic um, um, look. You know, it just it just matches what I do. Yeah. But it's got the a more modern uh, technology in there, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, and so it's more reliable and, and stuff. So and, and cool. you know, you drive this out there, it's not inconspicuous. People don't you know get all over it. And yeah. stuff, But the people that respect, they give it you know the respect. So Definitely. it's different than like driving a lot Ferrari out there. So. Um, I would say I drive that out quite a bit, yeah. Quite well, most, yeah. What's cool in the garage here is you have all the cars, but they all seem like you could get them out without having to move it. You know, sometimes there'll be right, like a car right, in the right. back where you yeah, can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, here normally, you move a couple. Yeah, and normally, you're good to go. normally uh, the blue cars are in my blue garage, okay. and it's it's really red and the yellows and and some of, of course some black color. So usually it's all Ferrari, and all of them usually I could just pull out without any yeah. blocking. So that yeah. that was the idea. That's why I have. The, uh, have them in the other garages, yeah, but yeah. Uh, uh, so but so these oh, are some awesome. of the cars, and yeah. I'm sure there's also a few few more on the way. There's always a yes, a yes. I, I I have um, 
the uh, of the two nine six uh, Spider coming. Okay. I have a, a Pierre Sangway coming. I have oh, uh, nice. the SP three ex totally exposed carbon fiber, which I believe oh, wow. is only making ten uh, coming. So uh, yes, yeah, so there's, that's, there's that's that's outrageous. Coming. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, very very cool. I mean, it's so so nice of you to kind of take the time to show no, show us around, course, show the course, audience around course, as well, and uh, and see all the cars. I mean, congratulations on an thank on you, an unbelievable you. collection. I mean, so tasteful, the specs, the 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 models, everything that you've chosen is is thank is you. awesome. So thank yeah, you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, this tour. Of course, I'll link your YouTube channel, your sure. Instagram yeah, down yeah, below. Yeah, so yeah. if you guys want to see all those new cars arriving, see some of the changes yeah. that will happen in the garage, it all happens on your account. So yes. thank you so thank much. You. It's thank been such coming. a pleasure. Yes, yeah? thank you. And guys, we'll see you very soon. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye.